Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you are new then welcome to my channel. My name is Shimani and my channel is called Makeup and Smile. So today's video is going to be a different one. Uh, recently Milani launched on Nykaa and I purchased a few of their products from Nykaa. I got their Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer along with this Aroma Matte Lip Cream by Milani and it is in the shade Precious. And every time I read Precious, I'm like that Lord of the Rings and that goofy banda who is like, Oh my little Precious. <laughs> I'm always like that. Okay. So today we'll be testing out this Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation and Concealer along with their lipstick. And uh, this, uh, this foundation, it says that it is medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long-wearing, water-resistant and sweat-proof. Now this retail for twelve fifty, so it is kind of an okay price for a uh, foundation. And uh, I got it in the shade zero three light beige. Let's just hope that it works for me. So, so if you are interested to know how this uh, foundation lasts through the day, then let's keep on watching. I'm gonna first start my. I'm gonna start with my eyes like I do usually. I will be applying my. Let me just show you. Yeah. My super goop eye cream. This is how I usually do my eyes. I this is how I usually do my face. Uh, so this foundation it does not have any SPF in it, so I will be applying my uh, Josie Marin, can you guys see? Mm -hmm. My Josie Marin. Oh, there's so much sunlight. There's so much sunlight. I cannot have that. I'm applying my Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. This is what I usually uh, daily apply. I'm gonna let my moisturizer sink in for a bit and after that I'll be doing the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna use my Benefit Professional as my primer. Now let's try this bad boy. I'm gonna shake it. I'm gonna take some of it on my beauty blender. Let's see how it applies and how the color matches me. I'm scared. Oh god, the color is a bit light for me. I'm damn. We'll make it work. We will make it work. I think a little bronzer camera fix. is full coverage guys like I don't think it's medium coverage it is like full on coverage okay the color match is not that bad it is a bit tacky so I will be setting it using a my face powder and I'll do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back okay guys so I've done my face and now I'll be doing my liner and for that I will be using my Milani eye tech extreme liquid eyeliner it is a felt tip liner, I guess. Yes. And let me just swatch it for you. Oh, it is a very thin line. But it is nicely pigmented. The tip is very pointy. Like you can create a very fine line using this eyeliner. I just thought... Bas mujhe bhi yaad aaya ki mein pas liner bhi hai. So I just thought why not try this one as well. So I will be applying this to my upper... Um, not water lining, but I will be line, uh, lining my eyelashes with it. Is it waterproof? No, I don't think it's waterproof. Yes, it is waterproof. It says that it is waterproof, so I will be testing that out again. Mm -hmm. 
now I will be I will be trying out their aroma matte lip cream, amor matte lip cream. pink shade but I really don't think that I will be liking this formula I mean my lips are already flaking where the lipstick is dried I can see it flaking already so I'm really not sure about the formula of this lipstick I think it's going to be very drying on my lips as for the liner uh, the tip was very fine so I could like I could easily make a fine line out of it I'm go I went for a bolder line today but you can easily make a fine line using uh, the tip of the using this uh, fine tip of this liner okay so this you guys is the completed look and uh, it is what time is it it is 9 10 in the morning and i will be checking you guys checking in with you guys later on for the for further update of this foundation guys so it's almost it's almost two hours that i've applied these milani products and i've done some uh, errands i have done some editing and some things um, my work i am at my workplace now and uh, um, i can uh, start seeing some of the oil coming through my foundation like you can see i'm a bit shiny here and in my t-zones like this is my highlighter but here it's a bit shiny I'm not uh, for the lipstick as far as the lipstick goes I'm not the biggest fan of the formula I can see like it is it has started to flake I told you guys earlier as well it is drying it is not the most comfortable lipstick to wear like it's not sticky but it's very drying for my lips now the liner I must say liner is still going strong it hasn't uh, gone off from the inner corner that is where my um, that is the place from where my eyeliner goes off quickly like the first and it has stayed put up till now but it's only been two hours so let's just see how it wears for my, uh, some more hours now foundation I will uh, blot my foundation and I'll let you guys know later on I thought it highlighted my pores like my pores were a bit more highlighted than usual while I was doing a close up you can you guys cannot see it now can you oh i'm so sweaty it is a sweaty day like okay foundation is good in a way ki ha is ye abhi bhi mere face par hai in spite of being so sweaty me being so sweaty abhi bhi it is still on my face but i can see my pores through it like can you see the pores here on my nose and i'll be back with another checkup okay guys so it is 2 o'clock 2 p.m. and this is how my foundation looks like uh, I'll give you guys a close-up of my foundation so you guys can see yourself my nose or my t-zones basically from my t-zones the foundation has rubbed off and I can actually see my pores and I'm not the biggest fan of this foundation. I don't know what I did wrong. Like I've seen so many good things about this foundation. So many praises about this foundation. I was really, and I was really excited to try this foundation. But I don't know what's wrong. What I have done wrong, I don't know. But this is not the best foundation as far as my thought goes. Like I have tried better foundations. I have tried... Even from drug drugstore, my LA Girl foundation or my Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless, they are like way up than this foundation. I'm not the biggest fan of this foundation. The eyeliner is strong. It is going strong. I don't have an eyeliner which is as good as this one. The tip is so pointed and it is waterproof and it does not, it is not getting off in this area which is my trouble zone. Every eyeliner gets off in this uh, inner area, inner corner of my eye. So... This eyeliner is really good. 
lipstick okay now it is not that drying or maybe i have accustomed to it so i'm really not sure about it but like okay now it's not that drying and i have not eaten anything yes i did i did eat i did had milk and i did had iced tea and some buns with it so yeah the lips i have not retouched my lipstick so so the lipstick is also pretty good like it is staying there but i'm not the biggest fan of the formulation of it i can still feel the flakes right here in the inner part of my lips so not the biggest fan of it oh foundation kelly i'm not that sure <laughs> i will be trying it again that is for sure because i have heard so many good reviews about it so i will be trying it again for sure but as for today these are my final thoughts i'm not the biggest fan of this foundation and uh, the liner is a thumbs up from my side lipstick is a meh okay kind of from my side and the foundation is like from my side <laughs> so i hope you guys had enjoyed this video and this is the first time i'm vlogging so this is not the best vlog that you guys will see but do let me know if you guys uh, like this video and if you like this video then please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel down below and i'll see you guys later bye Mwah.